In Photoshop, if you want to resize a group of images, go to Adobe Bridge, select the images that you want to resize. This is the first one. By holding the Shift key down and going to the last image, it automatically selects all the images that you want. Now go to Tools, Photoshop, and Image Processor. The Image Processor dialog box opens. Select the images to process and they're coming from Bridge and I have selected 13 so that's fine. Select Location to save processed image. So select a folder and I'm going to place them into my JPEG folder. Hit OK. File type. I'm saving them as JPEG. Resize to fit. Ticket. And I'm going to give a width of 800 pixels by 600 high. Then finally down to preferences. Uh, select the run action. And from the drop down menu here. I have created an action called Resize Images 800 by 600. Select that and hit the Run button. Wait for a few moments and then you can check the result. Now we're going to add a Tilt and Shift effect. This effect allows you to give the impression of a miniature model. Make sure you have one of your images open on screen. We're going to create a batch action which will hold the tilt and shift effect. The first thing you have to do is go to Windows and make sure the Actions palette is open. Then select Create a new set. Give this new set a name. Within this folder, create a new action. Again, give it a name. And press record. Now I'm going to add the tilt and shift effect. Select the edit in quick mask mode. Select the gradient tool and select the reflected gradient from the options bar. Draw a vertical line. The start point will be the center of the in focus area and the end point will be where the transition from in focus to out of focus is completed. Once you release the mouse button, the area of focus appears as a red band, as shown here. Return to standard mode by pressing Q on the keyboard, and the marching ants now appear on the screen. We will now apply the focus effect to this area. To do so, Select Filter, Blur, and Lens Blur. Set the radius to, I'm using 25, and the center area is in focus, and the top and bottom is out of focus. Once you're happy with this effect, click the OK button. Press Ctrl D on the keyboard to remove the marching ants. Boost the color a little bit by selecting Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation 
and move the saturation slider I leave it at 17 and hit OK. Once you are happy with your effect, <coughs> select File and Save. And now stop the action. To run the action we just created on the group of images that we have already resized, select File, Automate and Batch. Select the set just made from the drop down list. It's already selected. And the action is tilt and shift. Select the source folder of images that you want to batch process. Go to choose. And mine are in here, JPEG. Hit OK. Make sure these boxes are ticked so that the action will not stop. Select the destination folder. I'm going to place it in out and hit OK. Tick the override action. For the file name I will use the settings that are here. And for errors I will use log errors. Hit OK and just wait.